So today I'm going to show you how to set up via version and via backwards on your Minecraft server. Now I've actually made a video about these plugins about a year ago. Though I never really liked the way I explained things in that video. So today I will be doing it once again. I'm going to show you how to allow any Minecraft version to join your Minecraft server. It is going to be great. So before we start, do make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. Also, if you want to have a fun chat with the community, Minecraft server support, or just more information about the Starcraft server, make sure to join Casa Sarah's official Discord server. Link will be in the description. And then without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. So today I'm going to show you how to set up via version and via backwards on your Minecraft server. Now for those who don't know what via version and via backwards are, they are amazing plugins that allow more Minecraft client versions to join your Minecraft server. So let's say you're running a Minecraft 1.19 server. Then by default only Minecraft users that are running a Minecraft 1.19 client will be able to join your server. Now via version expands this. So by installing via version on for example a 1.19 19 server, you will make it so that players running Minecraft 1.19 or higher will be able to join your server. So 1.19, 1.19.1, 0.2, 0.3 and 0.4 will be able to join your 1.19 server. That's already awesome and adds lots of compatibility to your Minecraft server. A lot more users will be able to join now, but it gets even better because there's also a plugin out there that's called Via Backwards. It is by the same creators and it allows Minecraft clients that run an older version than a Minecraft server to join a particular Minecraft server. And that is actually insane. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description of this video that will take you to the VR version Spigot MC page. Now over here you will see a ton of information and this is actually a graph you might want to take a look at. So it shows when Minecraft players will be able to join your server. So it's basically saying when we install VR version on a 1.19 server, higher Minecraft 1.19 servers will be able to join. But to allow Minecraft clients lower than 1.19 to join your Minecraft server, you will need VR backwards. So by installing VR backwards, all versions from 1.9 till 1.19 will be able to join your server. And then if you want to go even further back, so you also want to allow Minecraft version 1.8 and 1.7 to join your 1.19 server, then you will also need to install VIA Rewind. Well, VIA Backwards is great to allow certain Minecraft clients onto your 1.19 server. You probably don't want to allow every Minecraft version. Why that is, I'm gonna explain to you in a second, but first we're just gonna click on download, wait for a little bit, and there we go. Then you want to go to your Minecraft server folder and drag the via version.jar file we just downloaded from SpigotMC into your plugins folder. Just like that. That's it. Via version is successfully installed. Now I'm currently running a Minecraft 1.19.3 server. So by installing via version, I will make it so that all Minecraft 1.19.3 and Minecraft 1.19.4 clients will be able to join this server. So that's already really cool. But we want more. So now you want to click on the second link in the description of this video. They will take you to the SpigotMC page from Via Backwards. So like I said before, Via Backwards allows older Minecraft clients to join newer Minecraft servers. Now while that sounds amazing, and believe me, it is amazing, there are some slight limitations to this. There are two main ones that come to mind, and I want to warn you about them before you install Via Backwards. So the first Via Backwards limitation. Because you're joining a newer Minecraft Minecraft server with an older Minecraft client, the Minecraft server knows blocks that your client doesn't. Let's talk about Netherite for example. If you're joining a 1.19 server with a 1.12 client, your client doesn't know Netherite. The server does though, so Netherite does exist. You will only not be able to see it. Now via backwards tries to resolve this problem in quite a smart way actually. So they grab blocks that look like the block that's missing and then rename it. That's it. So if you join a Minecraft 1.19 server in 1.12, it will still be called Netherite for you, but it looks like diamond armor. So it will actually grab the diamond armor texture. Now if the Minecraft client you're joining a server with is just like 
two versions behind, this might not be a huge problem. Though when you're joining a Minecraft 1.19 version server, for example with a 1.10 client, a lot of blocks will actually be missing. And your game might look awful. Also, maybe you built a lobby out of Deep Slate, for example, together with Basalt and Netherite. And players joining your server in version 1.12 will experience your lobby completely different. And the question you will need to ask yourself is, is that what you want? Now, another limitation is actually the biggest limitation, and it's all about the new Minecraft world height that was introduced in version 1.17. Because if you have a Minecraft server that is version 1.17 or above, you can actually go below height zero. Now, the the problem is that below Minecraft version 1.17, this wasn't possible yet. And because of this, there's actually a huge limitation. Because if you're running a Minecraft server that is 1.17 or above, and you're joining with any Minecraft client that is below 1.17, you will not be able to see any blocks below height zero. And that is a huge problem. <laughs> Actually, so in 1.19, all the rarest materials are below zero now. And if you're joining that 1.19 server with version 1.16, you will not be able to see any of them. Now, that is that is a limitation. That, that is pretty bad. Now, currently, there is no way to resolve this. It is a hard limitation into Minecraft, and we've not figured out a way to bypass this. So, if you're running a Minecraft server 1.17 or above, I would highly recommend limiting your via backwards to only allow versions from 1.17 to 1.19.4 to join. Nothing below that. Now, how to set it up, I will show you now. So, here we are on the Spigot MC page from via backwards again. We're simply gonna click on download Loads, wait for a sec and there we go. Then we also want to drag via backwards.jar in our plugins folder. After that you want to boot your Minecraft server, wait until it's done loading and then you just simply want to stop it again. There we go. Now we're gonna go into our plugins folder. After that, we're gonna look for via version. So even though we need to limit the functionality of via backwards, because we don't want any Minecraft version below 1.17 to join our 1.19 server, we still need to change it inside of the via version config. So let's go to via version. And after that config.yml, you just want to open it up. Now over here in the config, you will see a ton of settings. Now you might want to look around a bit, see if there are something you want to disable or enable. But in general, I think most settings are fine by default. Something you do want to change though, is the Minecraft versions allowed to join. So currently we have both via version and via backwards installed. We're running a Minecraft 1.19.3 server. So right now, any Minecraft version from Minecraft version 1.10 till 1.19.4 will be able to join. Now anything below 1.17 will not be able to see blocks beneath zero, which is a huge problem. So we're gonna make sure they can't join. So over here you will see two options, block versions and block protocols. We're not gonna worry about protocols as it is way more complicated. So we're just gonna block some Minecraft versions and the way we're gonna do that is actually really simple. The formatting is already written over here. Look at this. So this is actually a great example. I quote, an example to block 1.16.4, everything below 1.16, as well as everything above 1.17.1 would be this. In other words, this part blocks anything below Minecraft version 1.16. This part blocks 1.16.4 in particular. So only 1.16.4. And then this part will make sure anything above 1.17.1 is blocked. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this part. There we go. Just gonna copy it. Then I'm going to here. I'm gonna paste it here. And then I'm gonna change the 1.16 to 1.17. There we go. That's it. Now, any Minecraft version below 1.17 will not be able to join our server. That's it. Now you're gonna save the file again, exit out, and restart the server again. Now, after going back to the config after the restart, you will see that the formatting here has changed a bit. So this indicates that it did indeed work. Anything below 1.17 is now successfully blocked. And if you would want to add anything to this list, you would simply have to press enter. After that, one of those minus symbols, space, and then the Minecraft version you want to block. For example, 1.19.2. Because freak that version. <laughs> 
I guess. So now anything below 1.17 and 1.19.2 will not be able to join. If you don't want Minecraft 1.19.2, 1.19.3, and 1.19.4 to join, you can put one of these arrow thingies in front of it. So now only the things between 1.17 and 1.19.2 will be able to join. I think you get it. I explained enough here. So guys, that's gonna be it. That's how you allow pretty much any Minecraft client version to join your Minecraft server. Now you also know how to block certain versions, which can be really useful useful especially if you're running a minecraft server that is minecraft 1.17 or above you might actually want to block anything below as it will be a really bad experience for them anyway i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell it would really help me out by doing that you actually would we're getting really really close to the 20k subscribers which would be an absolute dream to do make sure to press subscribe and also if you want to chat with me and the community get minecraft server support or you want more information about the soracraft server i would highly recommend joining casasora's official discord server link will be in the description and then i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>